Okay, everybody. So, look on the screen. It's not a movie. It's a painful reality. South Florida homelessness. There is a tent, baby stroller, chairs. These chairs are not comfortable. I'm assuming grandmama, big mama, maybe her daughter. Some bags. Oh, oh. Here it looks like a child lying down. A leg or something. Looks like a backpack. What what do you see here? She's holding a baby. Look, sure as heck looks like a little baby to me. And they are literally under the bridge when you carry the seed of poverty d generational poverty let's check out this video fair use right now at 5 we were 5 30 reported the stories about people being priced out of their homes because of rising rents and tonight we're looking into if that is leading to a rise in the homeless population in south florida now you may not realize homelessness comes in different forms cbs 4's trish christakis has worked all day to shine a light on what we are seeing here she's live for us in miami with the details trish yeah, the homeless trust census shows that numbers are slightly up this year compared to last year for those experiencing homelessness. Now, they cannot attribute those numbers, though, to the rising cost of rent and living here in Miami. The homeless in South Florida, a constant concern. But now that concern has new attention because of the housing crisis. The homeless trust census shows that in January of 2022, mm. there are 970 homeless people on the street and 2,470 homeless people in the shelters. Ron Book, the chairman of Miami-Dade Homeless Trust, says the housing market is a huge problem, even if they haven't seen an uptick because of evictions and foreclosures. We've got the most expensive and, and, and the least affordable rental housing market in the United States today. In 2022, there are 138 more sheltered homeless people than there was last year. Miami-Dade County Public Schools says that 6,312 of their students and families are considered homeless. That's 530 more students than last year. When we count student homelessness, when we count pre-K to 12, the reason that Miami-Dade County and Broward County Schools have such a much larger number than we use is the school system does recognize couch surfing and doubling and tripling and quadrupling up as being in a homeless state. Book says the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development doesn't recognize someone as homeless if they have a roof over their head. This means couch surfing and someone without a permanent address isn't considered homeless. Mm. So the actual numbers of people who don't have a real home could be higher. Meanwhile, the director of housing at the Miami Rescue Mission says he's expecting more calls from families to get shelter because of the rental prices. Wow. I'm expecting for the, the, um, the housing requests that come in to increase because of, of the um, condition of the, the housing uh, market right now. And Miami Rescue Mission continued to say that they're getting an influx in calls from women and children asking for help. Coming up at 7. More calls from who? Women and children. Look at these men. They're obviously homeless. They don't have anything to offer anybody. Look at these women. Now, do you think it's going to really be easy to pull up out of this? Oh, go find a job with what address? Maybe use the shelter's address. Can you afford a P.O. box? And she has a baby. I'm willing to bet. They must have had a place together or so and got evicted. 
Look at this. Do you think this is safe at night? Fools walking around. Oh, they can sit at their women, women, one, two, and a baby. How do you sleep? I guess maybe inside that tent if they're lucky. Still, you think it's safe? Look at this. Hanging things on a fence. And this is trash and garbage. It literally under a bridge. And she got a new baby. Has a baby baby. Can you imagine? How do you shower? Cook half dinner. So at this point in the game, Karen to see the poverty dish. Oh, you just you signed up for more than poverty. Abject poverty. We got money all to take care of other people with the wars and things and other people coming into the country. 40 billion going to the Ukraine. They're not under a bridge. That's why women are going to have to make better decisions. I think at this point, a lot of people have gotten the help. They probably got the most help that they're going to get. The most help that they're going to get. Well, all these programs and call this number, good luck. Those programs, in my opinion, is too many people having difficulty. So I think those programs are staffed with uh, low staff members for a reason, by design, so the state can keep the money. The government sends that money directly. Then the state sees that there, oh my, this surplus? Okay, we got 10,000 families that need help. We're going to hire 30 people. Are you serious? It's all by design is what I think. Because the money that's not spent, it's in the state's coffers, plus the interest on it. So sometimes by the time you get some help, it's too late. End up here. And she has a baby. So a baby that young, uh, probably not even a year old, maybe a couple of months. Where's the man? Where is he? This, I doubt, didn't happen overnight. It's probably been a struggle financially. And go and get pregnant. Buy a seed of poverty D, and you can barely make it yourself. This has to stop. Most people are one week away, um, one paycheck away from being homeless. So I wanted to show you this. It's uh, it's saddening. Unbelievable. They are literally living up under a bridge. She has given birth to a baby and up under a bridge. Where is the man that impregnated her? Is he with them? Where is he sleeping? Life is business. A lot of people don't want to get acclimated to it. They don't want to accept it. That's fine. You don't have to. But life is business. And that's why we have to watch how we move. Let me know what you guys think. I saw this in a baby in her lap. I thought, oh my gosh. And what kind of man would have his child? Well, it didn't work out. That doesn't mean Jack. You have your seed out here. Unless you are subhuman, animals take care of their young, then some human beings do. What kind of man would have his child exposed to this? Dusty's being drama. Dustina's bring trauma. And if this here looks like maybe someone lying down, I'm assuming it's a kid. Once you lose your place, that's like your foundation. It's very difficult to get back there. It, it, it's not easy. It's not going to be, oh, a couple of months, we might get some few checks in. By the time your credit's taking a hit, and if you have an eviction, good luck. But look at this. 
And it's only going to get worse. Unfortunately, it's not going to get any better. Now, add that in, and we have an influx of immigrants. They're not doing the full background checks. Just, you know, cut them loose. Here's your ticket. Show up if you want to. If you don't, that's fine, too. So we already have a homeless problem. So now we're going to have more homeless people that we can't afford. And then you're going to have an influx of people that's coming into the country. They're just letting them loose, putting them on a bus, letting loose. Some of them have family, some don't. How do you see this playing out? Instead of beware of the angry white man or beware of the angry black man, the next thing is going to be beware of the angry American. Please lend a helping hand. This is out of control, people. It is going to get worse. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. Unbelievable. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.